Hey, it's Dave from Cash Guitars. So this is it. This is what you've been waiting for. So let's get right to it, okay? So we said we wanted to have six to seven bands. We ended up with eight bands. We ended up with actually more than eight because we wanted to have an initial acoustic type act and then some acoustic acts in between. So the first person we chose for that is Tommy Helmer. This dude is really cool. What he does with music is incredible. We uh, Rosie and I went and saw him the other night and it's really cool to watch because he basically will build a song in front of you because he loops stuff and he he like he'll play an instrument and then he gets he loops it and then while that's playing he picks up something else he, and he, and it's so cool to watch because he builds the song in front of you. So it's entertaining. It's it's just beautiful music. So we're going to start things off with him and it's going to be, you know, while vendors are doing their thing because it's not a live loud band that they can't work over. So it'll give them some time to work and things like that while we get ready for the first band, you know, that's going to be a big, large band on stage. Um, and then we're going to have him come back throughout the whole night in between acts and things like that. We also have, I also have another band that's, that's on the bill who also does acoustic stuff that agreed to come in here and there for some acoustic stuff, I believe. They, they agreed to do some acoustic stuff. I haven't talked to him about exactly where yet. but um, So we have some other ideas for, for in-betweens. But he's the first one. And he's the one that we'll probably give the most time to because what he does is really unique. So, Tommy Helmer. Now, our first large band on the stage, our first two in this order, and, and I say our first two because we, we cut the sets back a little bit on these two because we wanted to get both these bands in. So the first one is Supersonic Godfathers. They're going to be the first band. After that, now they're, and they're really cool. They're, they're a, a good, they're from this area. They're a good rock and roll band. I, I've seen them a couple times. I really like them. So they're the first ones. After Supersonic Godfathers, um, another band I really like, uh, School of Rock band, and it's Before the End. I've seen them. They actually uh, submitted last year, and we couldn't fit them in where, where we would have liked to, so we passed on them. This year, we, we're not passing on them. They're a really neat band. They're, they're very energetic. Um, so we put them in after Supersonic Godfathers. I think that's a good mix. They're... A rock and roll type band um they do a lot of different stuff they're really cool because you know it's a school of rock band and school of rock bands are kind of known for playing everything so they switch things up they're entertaining to watch so you guys are going to like them um after them we get into a band that i think is really cool and i, I gotta say when we were looking at videos and stuff the thing that caught me it, there's two things that caught me about this band. I like them because in, in this aspect, they're a lot like me because they seem to be a promotion machine, which I love because you got to promote. So I really like that about them. And their singer has got a killer voice for hard rock, heavy metal. Really, really good voice. So Bellwether Ritual, that's the next one. So that would be the what third band, third large band on stage. Um, that's number three. Number four, after Bellwether Ritual, is a band that I've seen once before, and they're from the area. I want to say Bethlehem, maybe, which is out this way. Um, Edgar Gore and the Nevermores. Very cool band. Um, kind of, they're, I don't, I don't know what they, I guess they, uh, I, I want to say like a, a punk, but a not, I classify things differently. They got all these different categories now, but like a horror punk, maybe not horror punk, but very cool. No matter what the, the lead singer, dude, I, if I remember right, the lead singer and the bass player and they're correct me if I'm wrong, I think are brothers, which I always thought was cool. Um, plays an acoustic guitar, which I thought was really cool for something like this, but they're, and they're very cool to watch. They put on a good show. So, that's kind of like our first punk type ish. And I hate to say punk because, again, there's so many categories of punk. So, Edgar Gore and the Nevermores. Um, after them, 
is a band that I'm very familiar with because they emceed Carnival of Chaos 2. The two front men, I count two front men, but um, from the borderline emceed us last year. So this year we had them back to play. So the borderline is, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, fifth in the lineup is the borderline. Um, you can never go wrong with them. They're fun to watch. They're kind of a mixture of everything, and they surprise me every time they play. I love to make fun of these guys because they have the best sense of humor. Um, but they surprise me every time they play because they come out and they play like a really nice song. And then they play something like that's heavier than the kind of stuff that I play, which to me is exciting because they don't look like they're a heavy band. So they're, they're fun to watch. Um, so they're always a good time. After them... This one I'm really excited about because this is totally different than what we're used to. And these guys sent me um, an email. They sent me everything I asked for, very professional. And they said one thing to me that stuck with me. And they said, we're very interested in this because of what you said about community. So that tells me right away that these are kind of people that I want to get to know better. Johnny B, the storyteller. If you haven't seen this stuff from from the, from them you have to go watch them because it's really cool stuff um very very cool and different you'll be surprised coming from me because you know i'm the heavy metal guy but i'm really excited about these guys this is going to be really cool to see um very very talented extremely talented um then you guys already know the headliner so we got one more before the headliner this one really excites me as well. Um, I'll be honest, I, I, didn't, I haven't heard of this band, and they sent their submission in, and I looked at it, and I went, whoa, what is this? I like this. And then they have a, a female singer and a female bass player and a dude drummer, and I was looking, and I'm listening, and I'm like, wait, wait, siblings? They're all siblings? And they're all young, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know me because my brother is the drummer in my band, and him and I have been in the same band forever. So any sibling stuff I love. So I was like, this is cool. And then I listened, and the the singer is just phenomenal, absolute beautiful voice. And then they do stuff that's heavier, and it it's great. It's absolutely. I'm so excited about this band. This is my, and, and if you know me, you know how I feel about our headliner. You know how I feel about brutality. It doesn't get any better than brutality. I absolutely love these guys. I love everything about them. This is my next brutality. Um, I, I, I'm so excited about it. Undefeated. Undefeated is their name. If you haven't heard of them, if you haven't seen them, go check them out. Look them up on YouTube. You're going to fall in love with them. They look good. They sound good. They put on a good show. There's nothing I don't like about them. And then, of course, after them, we get to Brutality. Now, if you haven't seen Brutality, well, all I can do is tell you to go, go on YouTube because they're all over the place. And I stumbled across them a year or so ago before our last Carnival of Chaos at a club here in Allentown, and we walked in, and, I, and we, we saw them go up, and they, they were getting on stage, and I was like, who, who, who are these dudes? God, they're young, but holy crap, look at, this is professional. This, they got, they had the, the banners, and, the, and they were doing what I would do, what, what I do when we play. 30 years, this is what, the way I set stuff up, to, just very, like, they've been doing this forever. And then they started playing, and I was like, Holy shit. I, I didn't believe what I was hearing. It was just, it's just so good. So, so good. If you like heavy metal. It's, I can't say enough good things about them. I really can't. Um, so they came and did COC 2 for us. And they were, they were so nice. And, and they were willing to add another tour date to the end of their tour last year for us. And they put us in at the very end, so we were the final tour date. And I, I can't tell you how honored we were and how happy that made us. And then we contact, I, I, 
after last year, I was like, well, I got to have them headline. And we contacted them for this one. And we talked and they said, if you can work it out for this date, we'll do it again. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I was thrilled when they said they would headline. Let me pop in here now and say one important thing that you need to hear and you need to understand. So pay attention. Now is the time in the next week or so, now that I've named the bands, I start ordering and paying for promotional stuff, posters, uh, banners, things like that that are going to have your logos on it, your name on it. It's going to cost a lot of money. If you think, if there's any chance you're thinking now, eh, this isn't for me, I went, came this far, <clears throat> but now it's not for me, or, oh, we may not be able to do this, or uh, surprisingly, there's still people asking me, oh, what's the date? Why did you put your name in if you don't know the date? If that's the case, tell me now before I spend money and throw it away. Because if that happens, then you won't be on the bill again. If you tell me now and it's not costing me anything, we'll put you on again another year. I, no hard feelings, no harm, no foul. All right? So that's very important to me because I've lost money in the past and I don't want to do it again. So that's your lineup. Bands, congratulations. Thank you guys for sending your stuff in. Bands that, that didn't get in this year. Like I told you in the other video, there's always next year. And I know you're not watching anymore because you dropped off and said, screw you. I get it. Um, but honestly... Everybody was wonderful, and the, you all deserved to be on here. I just I couldn't make it work with the time allotted because I need to give all of you your time on stage. Um, so here we go. Welcome to the Chaos Family. We go from here. We're going to step on the throttle, and we're going to give it hell, and it's going to be a friggin' great show. <laughs>